Alright guys, the opposed twin update part two. Got it all cracked open. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong in here. Both the rod bolts are tight, and I've wiggled them both. There doesn't seem to be any excess amount of play. So, I'm guessing top end bearing. Um, especially since I remembered that I revved it a few times and the knock doesn't get worse. Usually when it's rod knock, it'll get worse with RPM. Uh, in this case it doesn't, so I'm guessing it's either cam knock, which it shouldn't be, I've never had a Briggs with cam knock before, or it's the top end or lower end bearing, in which case I'm pretty well screwed. I think you can replace the top bearing, I've I seen on a forum something about that, so I, I might check into that. And as you can see, I'm working on a clear engine cover. This is not for permanent use, this is for testing and information only. But just because these engines are strangely designed, I wanted whoops. I wanted to check it out, so I made this plate. So anyway, this is pretty much just for me, but I figured the hell you guys might want to see it too. So I gotta buy some gasket maker, because I'm not gonna waste a proper gasket on doing this. So a roughly quarter inch piece of acrylic. It's not a hundred percent see-through, but it's totally good enough for what I want. It's actually a piece of an old monitor, as you can see, it's slightly uh, blurred like bathroom glass or whatever. Alright guys, so here's the control test with the uh, correct amount of oil in it. And uh, now I'm just going to kick it over on the starter and we'll see what happens. Hmm. It's not looking very, very good for the oil system, is it? Really? I, I thought it would have went higher than that. Interesting. I, I can try giving the starter more voltage. I can spin it faster. Well, that was working better. That was like 24 volts. <laughs> oh, the poor starter. <laughs> That's why I spun it up on 12 first, just to help take some of the initial kick off of it. That, that seemed to work. Now I can see that the top piston rod is wet. And everything else. Fuck, that, that window actually works pretty damn good, even with the dirty-ass oil I put on it. Uh, well that's funny, now that there's a shitload of oil up here, uh, it's going to register lower on the stick. Hmm. I almost want to give her another jab on 24 volts. Alright guys, so we're back. 
Uh, get another sample here. Okay, I have, where the hell is it, overfilled the oil by about half an inch. And we'll do the same test, 12 volts first and then 24. looks like it's a good idea to overfill it. Definitely seem to get more. We'll have to check the video, but uh, it was looking pretty good to me. Came pretty well up to here from what I've seen. to try taking out a bunch of the oil and try basically like half an inch under full and see how that goes. Okay now we're trying underfilled barely registers on the uh, dipstick. Okay, now I'm going to try severely overfilled uh, somewhere, I don't know, up here maybe. Alright guys, we're back trying severely overfilled. Oil is up to here. And oil comes up to the first bend on the dipstick. Just for the sake of trying it. The batteries are, well, the one tractor battery is dying. But it uh, looks like it's about half inch overfilled is the best way to go with these. Um, seem to even exceed the one we just tested, which is severely overfilled. As you can see, it's, it's literally there. Figured I'd try all case scenarios and uh, yeah, looks like half inch overfill is the best way to go. The next thing to test would be to start the engine and then see how low it can idle before you lose lubrication to the top end. So uh, that'll be the next test.